all done with Moab. Now we're off to uh, Green River. You might have seen uh, Green River displayed in such movies as Disorder, uh, Super Booter, Big Jump in the middle of nowhere. I was super pumped because uh, I knew the Super Booter jump was there and I really far wanted out, to ride far it. Out, far out, far out, far out. That was an awesome experience. Oh yeah. Go help these guys. Oh, pull this bad boy out, change a tire, and go scope some lines. <laughs> this terrain is awesome. Here we are in uh, some crazy place called Green River. We're gonna do some bike riding here, build some lines. Whole crew is super psyched and stoked all together. So let's get it on and ride bikes. As we just rolled in there right away, Metzger was already on top of this cliff. He's like, "I'm coming down. Flick out the tripods. Get ready." Alright, well I found this line up behind me here and I was excited to ride this train because this dirt is really weird so I thought oh, I'll go check this drop out. It looks pretty big but hiked up there, so steep. I don't know if you got it on video but I actually had to take my bike up this little five foot cliff part and smash my bars and my pedals into the dirt and use it to climb up because I couldn't get up so I, didn't, I don't know, I wanted to go big so I only got one chance on dropping here so I thought oh, instead of rolling it, you know, 10 feet and dropping eight, I'll just gap the whole thing. <laughs> right as I started to go, there was a big side wind and I just decided to air it anyways. So thought I could pull it out, but it started to take me and so then I just kind of went with it to make sure I landed on my side and didn't get caught up in my bike over the bars and land like 100 feet down the hill. Kind of got rocked pretty hard, man. It's all rock underneath that cliff. Weird. But uh, got back up on the horse, uh, went up there, decided to roll the drop and then came shredding down the line and it was actually really cool. It was really cool, the terrain's awesome, and uh, hopefully come back here when it's not so windy and do it again. Props to you, Metzger, for just getting up there and doing your stuff. Yeah, super cool. Definitely, definitely a rad guy. Like, he just always got lots of energy and just stokes you out on riding. So that, it was, I was pretty stoked to have him coming on the bus, you know, some new energy. hunted down what's called the super booter which is in the middle of nowhere outside of Green River. So we got there the evening before and just shaped it up a little bit. Way too windy to hit. That morning all the real men went to the super booter and uh, got their super boot on. We just started jumping, throwing tricks, gnarly stuff going down. Guy Ross McMaster, I don't know if you've heard of him, but uh, he actually tried 720 on the Super Booter. It was so gnarly the first time, he actually over rotated the 720, which was really hard to do, and uh, just knocked himself cold. He was laying on the ground, I was pretty worried I was the first one over there. Dude. Hey, bro, you want to drink some water? 
take it, take it easy. Ross just over rotated seven. Clapped his dome. You guys motivated to kill it? Yo, we just uh, rode the super booter jump. It was sweet. Andrew Taylor did a three whip. Ross almost landed seven, but kinda kinda clapped his dome. He went huge and stopped dead and hit his head pretty hard. Got KO'd, kinda scared. Just clocked my dome pretty good. Third time in three months. Kinda sucks, feeling loopy, pretty dizzy. Total throwdown sesh. This is a sick jump. But uh, that's how it goes when you're in Utah. Rock on. Me and Metzger kind of had our own ideas and checked out these other places off in the valley. A little bit better for our big bikes. Their bikes to the top, 6.30 in the morning. Up between these two big pillars, I guess we're calling it the castle. Gonna drop in with Metzger. Dropping into the old school line. I tried to build as many lines as I could in that short period of time. Good times, never ridden that kind of dirt before, never been in that area, so it was a good, good day for me. It's such a great morning, we got back to the bus, and I mean, half the guys are talking about how they landed all these rad tricks and did it super big and styly over the super booter. And the other half of us are talking about how we rode from these couple huge rocks all the way down into the valley and found these natural quarters and all these cool lines in it. 
Made such a sweet start to our you know, venture out in the desert here. We were ready to pack up our things and head to Virgin, Utah. Home of the Red Bull Rampage and kind of where this whole idea all began to pack up things and drive all the way down here to find the coolest lines.